How's it going guys, it's Jack Bing here and today I want to show you how to do this really cool effect that's actually been super popular recently with kind of all sorts of different brands and designers uh, like this, this and this and I just realized that I um, gave you three thises without actually knowing what I'm going to put up there but I'll work it out. So firstly, I just want to say to you guys, I'm not sure if you can tell by hearing my voice or not, but uh, the reason you haven't seen me in a week or so is basically because I haven't been well and I'm recovering and by tomorrow or the day after I'll be top notch. So don't worry about me, but basically that's why it's been um, probably a tiny bit longer than it usually would have been between videos. Um, but I wanted to make sure you knew that and I didn't want you to leave without learning something. So we're going to learn how to do that kind of cool swirly effect that's super popular at the moment. Let's go over to the computer and check it out. All right, so because I'm not well, this isn't gonna be a long one, but it's gonna be a really useful one for you guys to learn. And I think the effect looks really cool and it's actually so easy to do. So I'll just get the text tool up. Um, I'm gonna just write Jack Bing. Uh, black would look better on white than white. Um, and I'm just gonna uh, copy and paste it. Up. Maybe, oh my god, maybe, yeah, that many times that'll do. Um, now, I didn't intend on it looking like this. I'm just going to use the little um, character thing here to kind of space them out a little bit, more like that. Now, I'm going to make those a little bit bigger. Now, you can do this with absolutely anything at all. You can do it with images, words, um, literally anything, any size, shape, color, um, but it has to be a rasterized object. So, I'm just going to right click on the layer rasterize it there. Now what we're going to do is go to filter and you go to liquify and you get this screen where we've seen it before, we've used it on another video, um, but what you can basically do is manipulate your image into different kind of designs. So what I'm going to use up here is this push feature. Oh, you can't see it. I'll make this a bit smaller. And you've got a couple of options on the side here. You've got size, pressure, density, rate. Uh, the main ones you want to look at is the size and the pressure. Um, this size is actually pretty good for this, for the effect that I'm going to try and go for. Um, I am kind of making it up on the spot, but uh, there's a certain way you can go about it where too much is going to look silly, too little might be a little bit too subtle, um, but it's worth just messing around with it. So I'm going to go with that size. I'm going to bump the pressure up a little bit, 70 there, and let's just try this out. Let's just try and like pull this down, pull the whole thing kind of down, pull this up a little bit, a bit of a wave, might even bring it in a little bit there. And yeah, just like kind of bulge it out a little bit on the sides. There's also this other one here. Um, they, they all kind of do what they look like they're showing you. Um, this one here is like a clockwise twirl. And so if you make the size um, kind of similar size to your image, um, as you would expect, it kind of twirls it. So you just hold the mouse down, you just hold that click down, and it kind of twirls it around a little bit, which I think is super cool. And uh, yeah, it kind of gives it, you know, that, that kind of crazy effect. So. There it is, it's that easy, that's the effect. You can use that liquify tool with your pushes and your twirls and all sorts of different things to kind of make it into like infinite amounts of different things, but it's that easy. Remember, just go filter, liquify, bang. You can do absolutely anything. Um, you can go to your heart's content with changing it and changing designs and it actually is something that's like really kind of common and I guess like popular in design at the moment. Um, so give it a go, see what you can do. So there it is guys, the liquify. Uh, like I said, I'm sorry I've been sick and it's been a little while, but if you like that video, click the like button. Uh, something about, you know, YouTube would say about more likes makes gonna make, no, I'm gonna go there. And if you like that video, click the like button, subscribe, join the fam. I bring out a video like this at least once a week, unless I'm sick, but I think I still managed to get in at least once this week, maybe even more. So subscribe guys, I'll keep bringing this content to you guys, I love seeing it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.